this time on Metal Detecting and Fishing with Romy. Hey, welcome back everybody. If you guys can already kind of tell where I'm at, I'm taking a trip. I'm taking a trip out to uh, Washington. I'm gonna go do some metal detecting. I've got a buddy out there who's invited me on to some uh, areas that he's done a little research on and I've done a little research on. He's been living out there for some time and uh, we got some history there, so I'm gonna go see if I can dig it up with him and uh, bring you guys along and show you guys some of the finds. I'm uh, leaving leaving LAX now. I'm about to fly into Seattle and take a trip to uh, Spokane, Washington. So we'll bring you guys in when we get there. Stay tuned. Thank you. All right, All right I'm here safe. We're here, we're here in Seattle. And boy is it gloomy as ever. Just as I was, just I just as I remember. And I can't talk. Jet lag. <laughs> hey, it was a quick two-hour flight, and uh, I'm heading over to baggage claim. I'm gonna go get my baggage and meet up my buddy. I got some blackberries. Look. It's picking us some some wild uh, I keep thinking I'm in Alaska again. We're in Washington. <laughs> you know, I don't know if these are blackberries or maybe huckleberries. No, they're, they're black berries. I don't know. No, no. I ate them, though. Good job. Alright, so we're at my buddy E's house, and it's day one in Washington. And what do you guys think is happening? <laughs> oh, it's not raining too hard now, but it's raining. Yes, sir. Um, as a matter of fact, it looks like it's just kind of sprinkling out in the background now, but uh, if it lets up, we're gonna go try to check out one one site today. But we gotta go buy some shovels. Yeah, yeah we gotta, I wasn't gonna be able to bring any kind of shovels. I got two metal detectors up here, and um, pinpoint ears, and hand diggers, and things like that. But I wasn't able to get my shovels, so. I'm gonna go buy a couple shovels at Home Depot today, and we're gonna go get on to some history. Um, there's a lot of construction going on in this area, and so it's brought me out of here. Um, a lot of, a lot of old houses have been abandoned, the lots, uh, a lot of the houses torn down. And, um, there's a big, big, about, I'd say almost a quarter mile, uh, a street. It's, it's probably a little longer, maybe about a half mile. A street um, that is vacant, full of old, old homes, 1920s and prior. So we're gonna go play around there and see what we can find in that area. And if we can't find too much there, I, I'm sure it's been hit. I've seen some videos on YouTube that it's been hit, but <clears throat> we're gonna try it, and uh, if not, we're gonna go try to play along a river here that's nearby too, so. All right, you guys, stay tuned. All right, thank God, the weather stopped. We drove a different part of town, and check it out. We got family with us. That's right. Years and years ago, we made a video down in Coeur d'Alene. It's been about five years since, and we're back at it. We're gonna hit up some of these old home sites here. We got some uh, old abandoned properties. Um, a long, long stretch of uh, houses that had already been torn down and uh, we passed all those and I wanted to find some still existing ones so I can get an idea what the layout is here. So we're going to poke around some of these houses. There's a lot of them over here and a few over here. Alright, so here's one of the homes. This is one of the ones I thought was interesting. Got another one next to it over here. Another one right here. All around here. I'm probably pretty sure these have all been uh, metal detected, but uh, but we're gonna go ahead and check it out, see what's going on here. Oh, here's crab apple tree. We've hit a few spots. We're eating them. These are good. Oh, no. They're good. Um, we hit a few spots around here. Uh, it's real trashy, I and mean, that's to be expected. And I'm sure it's all been hit because I'm really not finding much. Found a couple things. I am show you guys because I'm trying to show you guys every little junk, stupid target. I found a couple of cladded, clad coins, quarter of a dime, a nickel, a couple of pennies, a couple of zinc pennies. I found like a cool old ornate belt buckle or something though. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out another spot. All right, spot number two. It's uh, torn down. It's just big vacant fields now. So. Uh, but he said there were some pretty large, really older homes here. So, we're gonna poke around here. 
you know, I want to give a big shout out to the Emerald City Diggers. You guys check out their channel. And uh, Philip Massey, he's also been helping me. Um, my buddy Dylan uh, from D uh, Dill, Dill Digger is his channel. So, you guys give them a give them a go, man. They they got awesome channels. And they dig up a lot of neat history out here. I hope to get onto some today. They've been pointing me in the right direction. So right on, boys. Thank you. What you guys think of my new outfit? Looking pretty sexy, all right? <laughs> I just flipped over a plug. Let's see what it was saying. It was reading a 25. So and it's a pretty fast, repeatable signal. Sounds like a coin to me. Uh, I just hit it, I think. Oh, yeah, there it is. Stinking Lincoln. It's not old. It's what year? 19. 19, not old enough. <laughs> All right, let's keep pushing. Sweet, we can't really see what it is. I think I got me a driver's badge. <laughs> 1905. We'll have to clean this up. But yeah, I'm almost positive. That's a driver's badge, and I just said I wanted to really, I really wanted to find one of these. <laughs> That's awesome. And I found one. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. That's his license number right there, down below it. And it was issued in 1905 or 1906, 1905 it looks like. It's red. And that would have been his badge. We'll show you a picture of that cleaned up, guys. That's awesome. Pretty neat. Shotgun show. Shotgun head snap. That was gonna be a button. That's cool though. Got me another wiki. And it's gonna be. It's gonna be a pain to see because it's pretty corroded. Maybe 1951. I don't know, hard to tell. But we got a wiki. Sweet! Got a wiki! I think I just got a dog tag. Let's see. Yeah, that's a dog tag. It's not an old one. Oh, I just lost part of it. 1995. That's pretty cool, though. I like it. Sweet. Check up a quarter. But I think it's clad. Yeah, that's clad. Ah. Ah. But I got a quarter. 1994. Sweet. Another I wish I could find something older over here, though. I am. Um, Glad to find Wheaties, but 1948, I think. 1945 S. That's cool. I'll take it. A really crappy, crappy signal. I'll show you. Let's see what it came up like. A zinc penny, pretty much. 22. Just higher than a zinc penny. Got a war nickel. Cool. 1943. Yeah, back's pretty toast. That's really toast. But I can read the date and make out what it is. 1943 more nickel. Sweet! Silver smile. Oh, I just dropped it. Ah. Yeah, get it. Alright, I dropped my machine. Jeez, silver smile. Ha! Ah. Got Canadian. 1974. One cent. <laughs> Have some fun with it. I found a little angel, but now I feel really horrible because I decapitated her. <laughs> <laughs> yep, little angel uh, pendant or something out here in the field. Oh, I just dug up an old fork. I don't think that one's going to be silver. <laughs> I still need to find. You almost always find spoons. Yeah, spoons and knives, I swear. Most of the time, they're almost always spoons, but 
cool to find a fork. I just dug this thing out. He just gave me a, uh, like around a zinc penny type signal. Uh, 20, 21. It says, Great Northern Ryko News Service. 15 cents. That's pretty cool. It's got some little flowers on each side here. I don't know. Do a little research on that one. That one's pretty cool. I like it. We got E-Dog in front of an early home. We're gonna get on this site. It's abandoned. Pick around here and see what we find. I just dug 10 yen. It's uh, in front of this old house here, right in front of the old cellar door there. 10 yen. So Spokane had a lot, a lot of uh, travelers, I guess you can say, because of the, the railway here. A lot of people seeking uh, a new life or looking for uh, there was a there was a gold rush here in Washington as well so there was a lot of uh, mining and things like that going on in the late 1800s um, Spokane was really really a booming place so I'm hoping to find some some neat history from there all right check it out got my buddy over here I waved him over here I said I think I got big silver in the hole got a big rim showing that's what the hell this thing is I hope it's not just a piece of scrap metal you guys see that there See what the hell this is. Oh yeah, I already know what that is. is it? <laughs> see the stars on it? It's got some stars on it. Pull it out, E-Dog. Yeah, it's a barber half, bro. It's a barber half. Oh, yeah! Dude, it's so clean. 1914, bro. Yeah, look at this soil, man. This soil oh is like perfect, God. preserved it nicely. Holy crap, dude. What the hell? Yeah, that's my first, bro. This is Spokane's oh, first yeah. neighborhood. Yeah! Is that what it says? Spokane's yes, first Brand's neighborhood. This edition was Spokane's first neighborhood for decades. This neighborhood was an enclave for the city's elite residents. Ho, ho, ho. Elite residents left me a nice 50 cent piece from the 40s, from the 1914s. The area called Spokane Falls was sparsely populated, having only 54 residents at the time. Um, he owned, uh, Glover owned most of the city when John Brown came to Spokane from Portland. And then he built the Brown's edition. Dude, I can't believe you just Wow. That was really neat. What a score. Right in front of this old beautiful. Oh my god. I don't know the area of this home, but it's it's early and it's beautiful. Oh man. Sweet. Right on. Let's dude, keep hunting. Yeah, see what, dude, what else we can keep find. Going. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you dog just got something neat. It looks like he's got a kind of a token in here. See, well, it's from Let's 2001, see. but it looks so pretty cool. 800 on rent in Seattle. That's cool. Big, big target. Yeah, right uh, it sounds like a good, yeah. good target for sure. Right on here. That was yeah. a good one. Cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. I got some kind of old locket or something. Yeah, it definitely looks like a locket. Oh, it's definitely a locket. Oh, neat. That's gonna be fun to open up and look look at later. Uh, got some kind of gold guild or something on it. I don't know. We'll try to pry it open after we clean it up. Oh, let's give it a go now. Let's see what happens. Yeah. It's pretty jammed shut. We'll try to clean it up and open it up later. See what's in there. Oh, cool. Neat old locket. In the yard of the old house. 1900s. Heather found out. She's like our uh, our superhero sidekick. Finding out all the, the info on the bad guys for us. Except for the bad guys of the cool old houses. X over there digging up. He's doing pretty good over here at the houses. We were having a hell of a time in the field. He's uh, he's appreciating this a lot more. <laughs> the moment I turn you guys off here, I was just about to pick up my gear. You dogs tell me you think you found a foreign coin or something. Let's check it out. What you got, you dog? I think this is a Canadian coin. Some Canadian coin? <laughs> Damn Canadians, let me see. Like a button or something. Oh no, bro. You, oh, that's rad. You got an Indian head penny, bro. I can see the wreath on the back. Indian, Indian head penny. Oh, dude, that's rad. Look at that. You see it's got the wreath on the back. Hell the shield. yeah. I don't want to Sorry, touch it. Sorry, no, 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 I spit on spit it. All over it. Sorry, I'll wipe it off. And there's her, there's her hat. Or the Indian's, uh, 
It's actually a little girl wearing an Indian headdress. Sweet, right on, E. Oh, yeah. Thank now you. I gotta edit out all your cussing, but sweet. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> all right, old house. Thank you for the treasures. We're out of here. What a neat old house. All right, we're out of here. We gotta go pick up the kiddos. We, uh, we had a few hours to spare today, and we, we found a couple places, and we had, we had some fun. Uh, a lot better than digging around in the rain the last couple days, and so... Uh, we might try one more spot later on today. We don't know, but uh, for the most part we found some good treasure and really had fun fun doing it I hope you guys enjoyed joining us. Bye. -bye.